Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with a uh, little pack opening video. It's the uh, I got some of the uh, mystery grab bags from uh, Jeremy or Missouri MTG on things on his YouTube or his Twitter. It's his Twitter, I know. But anyway, we've been uh, friends for a while, and I saw a lot of these uh, sweet ones getting opened up, and I don't really do a lot of uh, buying of the magic anymore, so. If there's something I was going to get in on, it's going to be something sweet like this. So, I bought uh, two of the $100 ones. Um, see what they have. Uh, I haven't seen these yet, so. See if I can get into them without really seeing them. So, what I've seen, there's just been a lot of value. So, um, I like value. I don't know if this is like the best card. I'm gonna. Anyway, we're gonna go this way first. Uh, it was like an eighth or a ninth. A ninth Lord of the Undead. Let's see if we can get the glare off. It's a one, two, three. Okay, cool. Is that a Congregation at Dawn? One, two. Three. We got a play set of those. Ooh, Blood Moon. Sweet. It's uh, is that a ninth as well. It's eighth. I don't know if there's that much difference other than the little number, so I never get this right. Ooh, a Grave Pack. I do like that art. Ooh, multiple Grave Packs. So those are from ninth, looks like. Teferi's Puzzle Box. Also from ninth. Goblin King. Defense Grid. Court of Calling. Sweet. And. Another Court of Calling. And Braid of Fire, but there's still multiple cards in here, so let's see what we got. Braid of Fire is a sweet card. Um, it's really good, like in original uh, Olivia, because it gives you a bunch of red mana, and there's no real drawback because mana burns not a thing anymore. So let's see what else we have in here. Also, Sleep Code is just like my cube, so that's cool. Rate of fire. Rate of fire and another fairy spells box. So a lot of stuff. Let's fan through it again real quick. Oh, glare. Lord of the Dead's four congregation at dawn. The Blood Moon with two grave packs. Uh two puzzle boxes. Goblin King and Defense Grid. Two Court of Callings. And uh, to Brain of Fire. I'm trying to do this from reverse. It's kind of hard. <laughs> hey, here we go. Okay, so that's one. Let's try and get this uh, second one open and see what kind of goodness we get out of that. That's, that's a lot of cards. Okay, let's see what we see. Uh, more Lord of the Undead. Elvis Champion. Elvis Champion. Chromatic Star, one, two, three, four. Um, chromatic Star. I think that's what I actually need for Tron. Because uh, yeah, I, had, I had spheres, I need stars. So, sweet. Uh, reshape times four. So, all the reshapes I could ever need for a Urza or any other deck. There's a multiple skull clamps. Ooh, sweet. The Commandeer right on the front. That's, that's pretty awesome. So, oh. He also had, uh, I think they're they're done now. So, sorry, by the time this goes up, I'm pretty sure he's done with the grab bags. But he had power grab bags, which was like 1500 bucks, but guaranteed at least unlimited power. And it was, uh, there's really sweet cards that showed up. It's really like uh, some play, you know, some play beta, but who cares? Anyway. So, Commandeer, Double Commandeer, ooh, and a Revised Detour, sweet. So, yeah, I got this particular one, I think I'll probably get a little more use out of, like I said, I've got the whole playset of Lord of the Undead, which is cool, um, but yeah, the Champions, I play Elves a lot, that's cool, and 
at some point I've mentioned I was building Tron, which I never have, but this also could go in artifact deck. So, and then all the reshapes again, the skull clamps, a little good little theme there. And then the commandeers with the uh, sweet demonic tutor. So, I might add all that up because I know it's like crazy value. So, might build some decks, might do some trading, who knows. Uh, yeah. Uh, I also have one pack of Thone and Eldrain. I figured I'll just go ahead and open that up while we're here. So, I haven't opened up a ton of this. I uh, opened up none of the collector's boosters because while you could open up something sweet, it was even more of a gamble than regular packs. It seemed like you'd get just some janky bull commons that you could get in one of these packs. So, anyway. Uh, you know, so I'm going to turn Scavengers, Barge in. Arvin, Arden Vale Paladin, Turtle, Trevor Young, Rose Thorn Acolyte, which I've liked a lot, Fierce Witch Stalker, Gingerbread Cabin, Steel Gave Griffin, Wildwood Tracker, ooh, Legendary Uncommon, uh, Sir Kara the Bold, or Kara, I don't know, uh, Frogify, ah, uh, Grim Gully the Generous. Does it matter what it is? Take it and be grateful. That's generally good dumb advice. And Halfway Ever After, which, yeah, it's got a lot of words in it. So, it's a three man enchantment that says when it enters the battlefield, each player gains five life and draws a card. Y'all know about that. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are five colors among permanents you control, there are six or more card types among permanents you control and or cards in your graveyard and your life total is greater than or equal to your starting life total, you win the game. Well, I do like that, actually. That's um, it's very janky, but it says you win the game on it, so I might need to cram that in EDH deck. So, anyway, um, sorry if you missed out on the Jeremy grab bags. They were awesome. Hopefully you saw a bunch of cool ones on Twitter. Maybe you got your own. Comment in the comments if you uh got something and what it was and i don't know hope you uh are playing more magic than i am and enjoying it and sorry about the lack of uh cube videos so you had some uh personal setbacks and stuff just you know real life stuff but uh, it's just kind of hard to get in the mood to make videos right now but i did order these and i wanted to open them on camera just show how awesome they are but uh, anyway like i said uh, thanks for watching and see you next time If you've made it this far in the video, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please click subscribe and like the video and comment down below on what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.